So good morning, you guys. I wanted to do a quick check-in before I run off to my candle making, sticker putting on job. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to talk about negativity because in my last video, I had talked about my brain, noticing that my brain has this radar and it seems to, it seems to like really gravitate toward the negative. It just sort of looks for it, actually looks for it. And I've been looking through my David Hawkins books because I, I have shared in, in my YouTubes about how I studied him for a really long time. And I have been looking because he, and I can't find it right at the moment, but I wanted to talk about it anyway. He had talked in his, in his books about the juice of, of life, like the drama. And, and not positive drama because our lives are full of drama. Like I always love it when people talk, oh, I want a drama free relationship. And I'm thinking there is no life without drama. It's like our life is sort of this play. It's sort of this, this dream, this, this storyline. I think what they're trying to say is they don't want the negative drama. Although I have to tell you a lot of times the people who say they don't want drama are the same ones that add the most drama i'm i'm just saying anyway so so in his book in david hawkins book he talks about getting the juice the dra this drama this duality this um you know this right or wrong black white um type of of life style or are we going to be in the love of God? The love of God being the focus. And so the last, the last, like, I'm, I'm not sure how long it's been. And I, it's so funny too, because I had given myself 21 days. It could be from the day that I put out my last video. I was like, because to change a habit, you have to, it takes like 21 days to, to like really change a habit. Probably longer than that. That's just the beginning. But <laughs> I've been at this for a while. So um, I was giving myself 21 days. But I, I decided that... So so I've talked a lot about, about our ideas, our, our dreams, our imagination being where it's at. And that it's it's around us, but we can't necessarily see it. It's kind of like like the same thing that I talked about how how we don't hear things, or maybe they're not making a sound unless we are aware of them. I mean, it's even our awareness of it, not even our proximity to it, not even our proximity to it. It is our awareness of whatever it is that we see it, that we hear it, that we even understand it. And so, and so I've been thinking that, I've been thinking about this idea that our, our dreams or, or our desires, and, and, and here's the thing about it. So, and I hear this from Abraham Hicks, we cannot stop the, the, quote unquote, wanting of things, because it comes to us before we could even stop the wanting. Like, like, like when I'm driving in traffic and I hit every red light, every single red light, it, it, it's just automatic that I'm wanting not to hit every red light. <laughs> I'm not even aware that I'm putting out that request to to not hit every red light i'm not even aware of it these things are happening not even in our awareness so we have no no control over the oh my gosh i'm having a pain in my tummy i need to eat <laughs> we have no control over it it's just happening whether we want it to or not and so 
And although, and then I've talked at length about these bigger things that I am so aware of, or seemingly bigger things that I am so aware of. Um, anyway, I'm not trying to digress. Okay, let me get back on topic. So, so what I'm doing is, is I am, I am making an active, an active, active, active lifestyle change of staying in the love of God instead of, sorry for the words, but sucking the juice out of the drama. I, I want, I am so excited and I, and I have to tell you there, I have had success in it. I really have. I have been staying joyful for longer periods of time for longer and longer and longer periods of time. And along with that, not like, okay, so this idea that it's all an illusion, that we're dreaming, whether we're, we're awake or we're sleeping, like Don Miguel Ruiz says this in, in his books. He talks about how all of it is a dream and we make up the dream, and if we don't like the dream, we dream a different dream. And so, if that's the case, when something is coming up, me not wanting that storyline. So, so okay, what storyline do I want? I want to hit all of these lights, green lights. I want green lights, not red lights. And so, what ends up happening for us is, in the coming up to the red light, it's like we, we chug up the pipes. We chug up the with our unhappiness in that moment that we hit one red light. <laughs> and so it, it would be better, it would be in our favor if we hit the red light to say, oh, well, let's just see how the next one goes. You know, just sort of take life a little less seriously and a little bit with more lightness. <laughs> anyway, I hope this makes sense. Oh my goodness. I oh my goodness, sometimes I think I'm I'm like clear as mud, but so basically what I'm trying to say in, in the works of David Hawkins, he talks about us sucking up the negativity of life or choosing the love of God in any given moment. And what he would say is anything other than the love of God, we would surrender to God on a moment to moment basis. When it comes up, we just surrender it. Surrender, surrender, surrender. And I am actively practicing this. <laughs> and, and I'm actually feeling so good, so good. So many moments are just, there's nothing that can make them better. I'm just feeling really, really, really great. <laughs> so, and things are getting better and better and better in every, in every way. So I'm going to go have a great day. I will be back. Love you guys. Thanks for watching.